academics, businessmen, mathematicians, psychologists, educators and scientists of South Africa sit in a circle to interview Professor Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics. The interview is hosted by Professor Dr. Ben Anderson, the executive chair of the Da Vinci Institute. What happened with algorithms and algorithms? I think algorithms will take over. This is fascinating for me, but so powerful, because we live in a world and you are now visiting what will be referred to from an algorithmic point as a developing socioeconomic context. And in this developing socioeconomic context, we have proponents, leaders, if you wish, that say, well, until we don't get the algorithm right, the androrhythm won't rise. And this has got enormous implications, as far as I'm concerned, for Africa as a developing context. Because it's almost as Africa is being told we must do catch up with the developed world. And once we've caught up with the developed world in terms of algorithm, prowessness, then our androrhythmic discussion can take place. So what would you say to the youth in this world of ours, in this Africa, for whom the algorithm is far removed still? Could they leapfrog by embracing their inner humanity? And how do you, maybe you've got some ideas around that. Well, Africa, yes, it's still a developing socioeconomically, and I recognize that. Uh, and I think that algorithms are very hard to develop even for our developed world of nowadays. So even of uh, even if Africa can catch up with the developed world, then there's still the question of if the developed world can reach the androrhythmic state, uh, at least in our lifetime or our kids' lifetime or something like that. Because uh, I know that technological might is huge, but uh, what is the stuff that makes us aware of our consciousness, makes our uh, animals, our uh, us alive? We don't know that truly yet. We can only make functionally programmed robots that don't uh, aren't aware that they're alive. They just are uh, programmed to do something. And they can't uh, be aware. They can't, well, do something else against the, the will of their owners. They can only do what they're programmed to do. So, I think that this androrhythmic state is still far removed even from the developed world, but maybe um, if Africa catches up with the developed world, then sometime in the future, when the developed world gets to the androrhythmic state, then I think that Africa will definitely have uh, this kind of artificial intelligence, but uh, the thing is is the new question is is that artificial intelligence going to have a good effect on humans or is it going to well kill us or things like that because we have already seen many movies and stuff like terminator fantasizing about what would happen if we developed artificial intelligence so not only are we far removed from developing something so technological but we are also stigmatizing that kind of thing, making it seem like we can't get there, otherwise we will be wiped out by such advanced technology. So I feel like this stigmatization will far remove us from that kind of technological advancement. Well, that's fascinating. So Chaba, what do you hear? Thank you very much, Prof. Anderson, as, as well as Prof. Barry. What I'm hearing is that we need to be more human than we are now going forward if we are to embrace what's to emerge for the benefit of humanity and society and perhaps the universe. Any questions to Prof. Barry? No question yet. Okay. So, congratulations on winning the Da Vinci Laureate Award. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton. A big fan. Congratulations, Da Vinci Laureate Suborno Isaac Barry. Thank you, Albert Einstein. A big fan. To Barry Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.